Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Animesh Shaha. I am a consultant clinical oncologist and today we will be discussing about a biopsy in cancer patients. So biopsy is a diagnostic test where a doctor takes a sample of tissue uh, from a patient's body where cancer might be present and that tissue is sent to laboratory and examined under microscope by a specialist called pathologist to confirm whether there is cancer or not. Biopsy is done to confirm the diagnosis of cancer, number one. Number two, it helps oncologists or cancer specialists to understand what is the type of the cancer. Number three, sometimes biopsy is needed for molecular or genetic testing that helps oncologists to guide which treatment might be beneficial for the patient. The type of biopsy depends on the location of the cancer or the tumor. It can be different type of different types. Uh, number one, needle biopsy. This is often done uh, with a small needle that takes a small sample of tissue from the tumor. This is often used when the tumor is felt under the skin. Number two is image guided biopsy. Here we need a help of an imaging system to guide from where the biopsy needs to be taken. The imaging could be uh, ultrasound or fluoroscopy or CT scan or MRI. Next uh, is surgical biopsy. Here uh, the biopsy is taken by use of a surgery by which the tumor is removed and sent to the biopsy department for further testing. Number four is sieve biopsy or punch biopsy. Here the doctor take a scrapping of the tissue of the skin and that tissue is sent for biopsy. Number five is endoscopic biopsy. Here uh, endoscope is used. Endoscope is nothing but a flexible tube with a camera which help the doctor to see inside a body cavity. For example, uh, esophagus, stomach or bladder, etc. With the use of the endoscope, a doctor can visualize tumor in those area and take a biopsy sample from those area. Number six, laparoscopic biopsy. It is similar to endoscopic biopsy, but it is used for certain areas of the body like abdomen and pelvis. When it is used for the chest, it is called thoracoscopy. With the visualization by laparoscopy, doctors are able to see the area where the cancer might be present and take biopsy sample. Number seven, bone marrow aspiration biopsy. So bone marrow are soft tissues and liquid that are present uh, within the bone. Uh, doctors sometimes may need to take bone marrow biopsy to diagnose certain type of cancer, including blood cancer. Usually, the pelvic bone is a site from where the biopsy is taken. Number eight is liquid biopsy. This is uh, a latest innovation in the field of oncology where uh, the doctors take a blood sample to check for uh, different molecular character or genetic character or different type of mutations in blood sample on circulating tumor cells. So no, uh, FNAC uh, is different from biopsy. So in FNAC, uh, we use or doctor use a small needle to take few cells from the tumor or the tissue where cancer is suspected. Uh, it can detect presence of cancer cell, but often the cells are too few to uh, detect the type of cancer. The other disadvantage of uh, FNAC is that uh, the materials or the tissue or the sample is not often adequate for molecular testing or genetic testing which is nowadays often needed in cancer patients. In most cancer, oncologists would prefer to have a biopsy before, before they can start treatment. This is to diagnose the cancer, to know the type of cancer and to decide upon which treatment the patient might be benefiting from.
There are a few scenarios where we tend to avoid biopsy. For example, in early stage kidney cancer, where the cancer is confined to kidney and has not breached the covering of the capsule of the kidney. Here, doing a biopsy can cause spillage of the tumor. Uh, so hence, biopsy is avoided before surgery. Similarly, in early stage ovarian cancer or testicular cancer, uh, where the tu tumor is confined to ovary or testis, we tend to avoid biopsy before surgery because this biopsy might cause tumor spillage and can upstage the patient. Number two, in scenario, uh, in, in tumor which are located in critical uh, areas of the body, for example, brain stem, which is a critical area of the brain, or optic nerve, which is a nerve which controls the vision of a patient. If the tumor is located in those area or very close to those area, taking a biopsy from this area might be quite risky. So hence, we tend to avoid biopsy in these patients. Number three, when a patient comes to us uh, who has uh, advanced age or very elderly patient with multiple other medical problems uh, and have very advanced cancer with poor prognosis, the, the risk of biopsy sometimes overweighs the risk of benefit. Hence, we sometimes uh, tend to avoid biopsy in those patients. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.